Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today we are continuing Morrowind. Now, you might have noticed that we're not starting today off in the Urshalaku camp like I had mentioned last time. Uh, I did visit the vendors in Balmora between videos, but when I stopped by our safe house to drop off some stuff, I noticed that we had already found a couple of items related to some of the quests we're currently on. Uh, first is uh, the deed to Indrella's house. Now, this we had found as part of the uh, Vivek informant's quest that we did for the main quest uh, a very long time ago. Um, I just happened to see it sticking out from under a couple of books in the library in Vivek. Now, let me check to make sure I know Thieves Guild Balmolagmer Land Deed. All right, we have to uh, deliver the deed to Indrelli Rathrion herself in Sadenine, which obviously is where we are right now. I'm going to screw the bridge over there, just jump across the river. Uh, now, though, how is my... I've got a bounty of zero, so I can safely talk to these guards. Or, or maybe I can't, because... One of the things I dropped off when I was in Balmora was the Imperial chest piece that I'd been carrying around for quite a while. And so I can't talk to any guards because technically they outrank me and I'm part of the Imperial Legion. Your uh, so have I actually went by a house that says it is owned by this person? Um, census and excise, that's all that. Uh, oh, there we go. It is back here. But it is locked, which means she should be somewhere wandering around town. Is it you? Yes. Speak, traveler. I don't believe I've seen an Argonian with such a grand outfit in some time. How can I help you? Actually, hold on a second. Because I want to put on the Balmoligmer gloves, just in case that's a requirement, a hidden requirement of this quest. Uh, one of the other things I did is I grabbed... We've been using the Fist of Randagulf Right Gauntlet that gives us the strength boost. Uh, and I realized that our heavy armor skill is now high enough that putting on the left gauntlet that increases our agility was actually a higher armor rating total than when I was using the Orcish Bracer. So now we're using both of those, which puts our agility almost at 100, which means we should be able to hit pretty much anything we, uh, we try to attack. But for now, let me put on the actual gloves. Where's your uniform? Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, forged Land Deed. Just leave me alone. I already told you, I never signed any land deed, and I'm not selling my land, and I'm not moving back to Cyrodiil. Give her the deed. What? This looks like the land deed. Why are you giving me this? This deed belongs in your hands. Thank you very much. I can't tell you what this means. And your gloves. They seem somehow familiar. Stories I heard as a child. Anyway, I thank you. See? It's a good thing I stopped to put the gloves on. All right, so now, let me pop those back on. Um, as far as I know, that's the only thing we have to do here in Sedanine. Uh, so I'm going to cut things here, and then we will pick them up again once I get to the next location that we have to go to before we get to the Arshalaku camp. So I'll be right back. All right, now we are in the Aldrune Mages Guild uh, because, where's my journal? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Mages Guild Bethamez. Edwina wanted me to go to the Nisus Egg Mine because apparently it had broken into the Dwemer Ruin of Bethamez. Now, we had actually visited the Egg Mine in Nisus uh, a long time ago when we were first starting to work for the Imperial Legion, uh, and I had actually found the Dwemer Ruin and plundered it and found an item in there that I knew was most likely going to be uh, important, which was the Dwemer Airship Plans. That was the other item that I found uh, in... that we had stored away. 
What and was that, that about? And that was the uh, quest target of this one. Did you find any plans or blueprints in Bethamez? Uh, yes. I believe there are more blueprints in Bethamez. Well, yes. Uh, have you found any more Dwemer plans or blueprints? Jesus, keep asking me the same question, lady. Yes, here they are. This is truly remarkable, Climbs and Hides. These plans are very similar. Perhaps with both of them in my possession, I can discover their secrets. It's a shame Archmage Trebonius doesn't share your dedication to scholarship. All right. Uh, also, something else is now... I must say, I find you most interesting right now. Please go ahead. Why, thank you. Uh, now, our willpower is 51. So, we should be able to find somebody in the Mages Guild that can boost our mysticism up to 50. Uh, training... Well, not you. Do you and, want something? And she did not have the option for training. Uh, neither do you, uh, neither do you, hmm, go ahead, I'm pretty sure there's somebody in here that can train me, maybe not, may I help you, I might have to come back to, uh, a different mages guild to get myself some mysticism training. Uh, I know there's a couple people left up here. Uh, spells. I suppose I have a moment. Spells and spell it? making. Tidings, my sister. Uh, there's one last person. Is the uh, the woman that does the the guild transport way in the back of the room here? Uh, she does travel and persuasion. Wasn't there a person? Oh no, I'm thinking of the Vivek Mages Guild, that woman standing in a, uh, a side room that we steal a book from as part of one of Edwina Elbert's quests. Uh, let me... Let me pop into a few of these guilds. Greetings. To see if I can actually exactly get, get my training. Me. Welcome. If you uh, wish to talk, it is really no trouble at all. I need a higher rank in order to get training from Skink in a Tree's Shade. Um, he still wants me to arrange that meeting. Yes, honored guest. Which you want is, uh... Damn it, destruction, alteration, illusion. Is there something Illusion, me? not illusion. Go ahead, I'm listening. All right, how about... Uh, that was Sadrith Mora. How about... I seem to remember Caldera didn't have anybody that did training. Maybe, maybe Balmora. Spells and I travel. I have a moment. What is it? Training. None of that. How about you? No. All right then. I'm listening. Training. There we go. Thank Christ. Forty-six. Yes, I'll Forty-seven. What do you want? 48, 49, and 50. Hello, uh, I suppose I have a little more. Oh, sure Jesus Christ, everybody's talking to me at once. Alright. Um, nobody here... Nobody here wants to talk about advancement. Let me run upstairs and talk to Rannis Atheris, because I know she offers advancement. Uh, congratulations, you are now Climbs and Hides the Magician. Strive ever forward. Now, you I know... Me with your attention, Outlander. I believe I'm out of jobs with her. Duties? You completed all the duties I have. Have you spoken with Edwina in Aldrun or Skink in Sadrith Mora? Well, I'm currently working for Skink. Uh, but I did not stop to check Edwina Elbert. If she had any missions for me. Before I left to go back to, uh, well, to find mysticism training. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. More interruptions, magician. Do you want more duties? Why are you here? I do not have any more duties for you. Perhaps you should speak with the guild stewards in Balmora or Sadrith Mora. So, it looks like at the moment, the only Mages Guild quest giver I'm still able to work for is Skink in a Tree's Shade, which I'm actually already on a job for him. Welcome, friend. So, the day is yours. Uh, what shall we talk about? it looks like all of the tasks I had 
to do before we went, we went back to the Urshilaku camp are now done. Uh, so I'm going to cut the video here and we'll pick things up in the camp like I said I would do last time. So we will be right back. All right, so we are finally back in the Urshilaku camp. And uh, for the sake of convenience, the first thing we're going to do is drop a mark. So now, whenever we use Recall, it'll bring us right back here, which I'm pretty sure we do have to visit this place <clears throat> at least a couple more times as part of the main quest, uh, and there's no fast travel options. Now, we were on a Fighter's Guild quest to take out a place called Sargon, or at least a bandit guy that's leading the people in Sargon, which is said to be on an island north of Margon which should be right around here. Now the fun part is, once again, having to hover my way across a large body of water, and also the fact that I'm not entirely sure where on those islands it is. And uh, as you can see, it's a fairly large chunk of islands. So, let's get us to the shore itself. There's something sticking out of the water, and I'm not sure what that is. All right. And away, and away we go. Oh, it was just some plants. Okay. For a second, I thought it was one of those uh, drogue things. Those uh, giant... I guess you could call them squid men? They've got, like, lobster claws and, like, weird tentacle legs, but only four of them, so I guess you couldn't really call them... I guess a squid has more than just four tentacles anyway. I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I think I can hear one of them nearby. Like, I can, for whatever reason, their ambient noise is basically heavy breathing. Oh, yep, there he goes. Or there he was. Maybe I'm higher in the air than I thought, or he's just deeper in the water. Because he looked a lot smaller than I'm used to. I think I'm going to need one more goose of the, uh, the levitating belt. Yeah. All right, so now, uh, one of the things I did do, I'm not, it wasn't between videos, but I'm not entirely sure how long ago it was, but I do have a lot of silver arrows on me. Damn it. All right, so we have a cave. I don't know what the name of the cave is. Damn it. You guys wasting my silver arrows? Oh. Jesus. Didn't even see him. There we go. Alright, so I'll take that because it's worth 50. And what's the name of this place? Asumanu. Uh, I'm going to not explore that place. I do want to see if I can... Uh, I'm going to need to levitate back up here. Oh, but I do get one of my silver arrows back. Which I mean, every silver arrow that I lose does trim down my weight just a bit. But personally, I would rather have the silver arrows on hand so that I can fight anything that... Uh, might require silver arrows or better. Alright. Uh, I wish I could zoom in on this map. Uh, you know what? Let me try heading east a bit. Nice. Uh, nice. Two more shock resins. I thought that was a cave entrance. I just killed the shock and then saw his dead body and got a little bit scared. Uh, 
right, so that's Asumanu. I'm just going to head over here a little to make sure that there's no door hidden. All right, there's nothing there. And there's no door hidden there. There are caves that are completely underwater. We just haven't had to go into any of them yet. I remember uh, having some difficulty when I was younger because I wanted to explore every possible cave that I found. And usually that meant finding underwater caves and uh, nearly getting myself killed from drowning. What the hell was that? Oh, there's a rat over there I just saw. Oh, it's a mud crab. Are you hostile? Yes. You were hostile, but for some reason you couldn't move. I'll leave that rat there for now, unless he comes at me. So what are you? Andevel Ancestral Tomb. I lied. Alright. Blighted rats. Yeah, so, the, the ghost fence is not doing a very good job of keeping the blight at bay. I'm going to explore a little bit further southeast, just to kind of finish up this island. But if I don't find a door over here, then I guess we're headed west. Is that another door? Yes, yeah. What are you? <gasps> Sargon! Nice! Alright, so let's get our stamina back up. Uh, we've lost an absolute sliver of health. Literally one point of health. So that's not enough to warrant using a uh, charge of my healing amulet. Uh, so let's see how Sargon treats us. Oh, already we're in combat. See, that's what happens when you have agility of 90 plus a maxed out fatigue, is almost every single strike will connect. Uh, I don't think that's the name of the guy we're actually here to fight, and none of this is really worth dragging along back to the mainland. Uh, in fact, what is the name of the guy we're here to fight? That's a fighter's guild. Is it Benaran? Yes, so it's a guy named Never Benaran who is hiding in a cavern, Sargon. If I'm lucky, maybe I'll get a quick arrow strike on somebody. Like this guy. Or not. God, you're fast! Is that a glass axe? What the hell are you using? Oh no, just a steel battle axe. Take your money though. Imperial Dragon Scale Kyrus, or chess piece. 33 armor. Ours is definitely higher than that. And uh, 340 gold for 24 weight is not enough to warrant taking it with us. Uh, he's got his hands up in magic mode. Wasted a lot of arrows on his summons. Uh, Dalmil Varen, uh, 10 health for a second. That's not bad, and it's also worth 40 gold, assuming I can find the right person. We are currently at just under 43,000. We almost had 45,000 before I uh, got those levels of mysticism. A trapped door. Do I want to go there first or the other place? You know what? I'll come back to that door, I think. Yeah, because over here is looks like it's just storage anyway. Uh, 
Petty Soul Gem. Uh, that's not worth taking with. A tiny little box. I'm pretty sure anything, any item that gets placed in like the map creating program uh, can have its size adjusted, which is how you get things like that. 68 for uh, less than a pound is very nice. Uh, not much good stuff, just tiny amounts of gold. Yeah, I was hoping for uh, maybe some Cyrodiilic brandy. I remember we're on some sort of a quest to bring, I think, five bottles of that somewhere. Maybe to the Buckmoth Legion Fort. And between videos, I did find a vendor. Is there really nothing in the water? Well, it's nice the developers to at least put a ladder here in case somebody did fall in. Um, oh. Hmm. I gotta remember that, so if if the door over here does not lead me to an area that involves that, I'll have to uh, do some levitating fun. There's something about Cyrodiilic Brandy I was talking about, and then the water. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's get this trap picked. Last use. Failed. There we go. Get back to the spear. Am I? And you are Lalero Laloran. That is a hell of a name. Why do you have four bracers and gauntlets? A little weird. Ooh, dwarven war axe though. Oh, it's only worth 450. Uh, I got excited because I saw that the condition was 2,000. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else on him worth taking with. Uh, a little bit more storage, and then the lighting kind of went a little wonky on me there. It does look like it wraps around like I was hoping. Nothing in the chest or the crate. Some scuttle. And some rice. Uh, I'm going to do my best to eat that next time I have a chance off camera. Whoa. And who are you? Varon Sedralo. What did you have on you? Uh, shock damage. That's... Not worth enough money to warrant the ridiculous amount of weight. Now this one does look like it goes somewhere. Alright, I gotta remember to come back for that one. I'm not sure if my... Hello? I was a little nervous because she had her hands up in magic mode and she was running at me, which suggested to me that, uh, resist frost? I could sell that off. Uh, suggested to me that she was going to do some sort of horrible on-touch spell. What is it with people having, like, live-in music players? This is the second place that, uh, has had a guy with a loot come at me. Hmm. All kinds of interesting directions to go here. I wonder if the water curls or curls? It curls around to get to here so people with levitate can sneak past. Well, maybe not even, because those those two came from up on top of the ladder here. Boost my stamina again. See if I can get a snipe off on somebody. Oh, that was sweet. All right. He is wearing ebony. I think this might be our man. Yes, Nerer Benaran. What did he have on him? 
Silver Shard Slayer. That's a lot of weight for not much money. Uh, ebony Chest Piece. Definitely grabbing that because 35,000 gold will be very helpful in the future if we need it. It is going to cut down our speed just a little bit. But that's okay. Uh, restore strength. That was weird. Um, let's go with the apprentice lockpick. Nothing in the chest, but hey, I got skill for picking the lock. Uh, that one is trapped. And expensive amulet is really the only thing worth it. Well, expensive belt, I guess 10, 10 worth for uh, one pound is not a bad thing. That's a little weird. You can see uh, where the map sections didn't connect. All right, what the hell is that thing? This place is a little bit bigger than I expected. Let's drop in a save, because, I mean, we've made it through, from what I can tell, all of the enemies. Oh, it's an Iron Cauldron. Belt of Charisma. That's not a whole lot. A skull. I'll take the ruby and the heart. Daedra's skin. I don't remember ever seeing that. Uh, Ice Storm. Definitely worth taking. Is there anything around the corner here? No, that's just a rock. Oh, but there's a path down this way, it looks like. Oh, that just might lead below. I gotta check it out, though. We do have a... Uh, Potion of, um, not a potion. We do have the ability to breathe underwater if we really need to. All right, that's blocked off. That continues on. This is the bad thing about this particular map style, where it's only from top down and not like in Daggerfall, where, uh, where you could get side views or move the map left and right to see how things, like, wrapped around each other. Is all of this map section stuff is completely covered by the upper sections. I need some air. Getting very close. Christ. Alright, that's the entrance. I don't fully remember seeing any water right there. I don't see anything way down in the water to warrant going under. Maybe... Oh, maybe there was the ladder here. I just didn't notice it right near the entrance. Oh, we got ourselves a fish. A dead fish. So this maybe wraps around to the other end here. chamber of air, but there's no... Sometimes they put, like, a little shelf with, like, a skeleton and a chest. So it's kind of like a... I don't know, like a dead pirate or something. I'm still getting combat music, which is a little weird. That goes very deep. I apologize for all the loud popping noises involved in the uh, going underwater. Alright, that leads over here. Oh, hello. 
I guess you're the reason why there's um why there was combat music. Alright, this leads here. There is another small section that I am going to check. Just in case, there might be some loot. Uh, in fact, it does look like there's a small section. Hello. Remember what I was talking about with uh, skeletons and all that? Pirate treasure. So what do we have? Greater soul gem. Potion of jump might be helpful. It's a good thing I grabbed it because there was uh, money behind it. Silver longsword, torch, and a skull that you can't actually interact with. Not super fantastic treasure, but still treasure. And this should lead us back to that other room that was really tall. Well, eventually at least. Yeah, right here. But the only way it looks like to get out of the water here is via levitation. Which is fine, because that's also really the only way to get up here. It looks like all of Sargon. So now... Acrobatics went up. That's one of the fun things about uh, jumping everywhere, is that eventually you will end up hurting yourself, and the farther you jump, or the farther you fall, really, uh, the more experience you get towards leveling up your acrobatics. Alright, so, get my stamina back, get my uh, health back. We are at three, six, uh, three tenths of the way to level 17. There's a cliff racer around here somewhere. Alright, so... Um, there is another quest. Uh, I believe still the Path of the Incarnate. Um, third trial... Oh, did I write this shit down? I hope I did. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes. Sea to the northeast. Uh, Bethuind... Dwemer Ruin, Daedric Ruin of Zerganapal, there's the Daraloth Tomb, White Rock Spires, no, oh, north east of Red Mountain, and a place called Dunahi. Uh, which, I know that, there we go, Zerganapal is there. Now, that is going to be a bit of a trek, but that's okay. Uh, I just need to get myself back to the mainland and start heading east. Christ, and suddenly the place is lousy with cliff racers. Hello, sir. I thought I killed him in one. Is that the shock I killed? Yes, that's the shock I killed and also startled myself with. It looks like the closest way to the mainland is actually right there. I just do not want this cliff racer to harass me while I'm trying to hover. There he is. Thought I could hear that heavy breathing. Uh, 
wonder if I'll swim faster than fly. I think just marginally faster. Of course, I am also attracting all of the fish in the Tri-County area. Alright, so back to the mainland. Oh shit, I just realized uh, how long this video has gone. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.